Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be looking at the IGCSE accounting books of original entry. Okay, so I got this um, sort of IGCSE questions from the www.igcseaccounts.com. So I will be linking that too, so you can do these questions at your own time. Um, and yeah, or you can do it with me. So you can print it and do it with me, but I will be doing it on my computer. So again, uh, let's begin. Okay, so the first one is number one. Abdul started a business by transferring his own vehicle to the business at a valuation of nine thousand, introducing a sum of cash that is basically capital. On the first year, the trading profit was two thousand. At the end of the first year, the balance on his capital was fifty-one thousand. How much did uh, cash did Abdul introduce? So you do nine thousand plus two thousand, which will get your capital that he invested after. And that's eleven thousand. So eleven thousand minus, uh, sorry, fifty-one thousand minus eleven thousand would give you forty thousand. So forty thousand would be the answer. Agnes and Brian operate in similar businesses. They provide the following information: trade receivables is a debtor, and therefore we receive because it's an asset. So Agnes received the money in thirty-one days. Brian received in forty days. Which statement is true? Agnes received money. From the customer sooner that's true but let's look at the other ones agnes pays the supplies sooner than brian uh it's trade receivables you do not uh pay back but instead you receive because it's debtors and it's an asset okay that you are getting the business is uh receiving the money brian receives money from uh he's not receiving it earlier because it takes he's his 40 days or his 31 days brian pays his supplies sooner. we don't pay so there is a the following account appeared in Andrews with Ledger. The moment I see accounting, uh, I mean the income statement, I think it's related to a accruals concept of prepared, and I can already see prepared here, so I think it probably is. So which statement is correct? Andrew and he did not earn 2,800. It's just in the income statement on the credit side. Andrew owed, uh, okay, this one I think is correct because 700 is carried down now. He's already prepaid $700. Okay. So I think it's this question right here, so I'm just going to tick it because he does not owe $700. It's right here in the balance part down on the debit side, so he can't owe and um, no one is paying him. So uh, we're just quickly moving on to the multiple choice. Now we're finally coming to these questions where we write. Okay, the name two books of prime entries, uh, which the trader may keep in case the name or source document of that book. Okay, now we have many books of prime entry that we can choose from here. Um, there's a wide variety you can choose from a sales journal to sales returns journal to a purchases journal to um, so many stuff like that okay so what would the source document be for a sales journal the source document would be sales invoice um, for sales returns journal it would be a credit note uh, a sales credit note you can also write petty cash book here and uh, the source document would be a voucher so you can see all those I just named you can write those one reason why a trader might use a books of prime entry again many reasons to avoid multiple entries um, or you can say helps to track or easy reference to the transaction helps in tracking um, or cross-referencing accounts helps for evidence for transactions because you they're recorded on their source document so all of that you can write it in B the next one is name the two accounts which, which are posted with the totals with three cash book column. Okay, whenever there's cash book column, we know there's the discounts received, the discounts allowed, and then we have the cash column and the bank column. So the answer would be discounts received and discounts allowed. Okay, discounts received and discounts allowed. The next one is Lamodi has an accounting year end of 31st December. Okay, it is uh, here are two transactions for related to insurance, and it says prepare the Lamodi's insurance account for the year ended 31st December 2014. Okay, keep this in mind, okay, this is really important because these are all done in 2013, 2014. It says balance the account and bring down the balance on 1st January 2015. So it says, number one, let's, let's tackle the first one first, okay, and it says that on the 1st April 2013, he paid 1,200 by check starting on that date. Okay, starting on the date. The key is starting on that date. So we, let's count from 1st April to 31st December. So that will be April, May, uh, so January, February, uh, March. So April, May, June, July, August, 
September, October, November, December. Nine months, okay? That's nine months to this. And if we calculate how much he's paying per year, if we simply do 1,200 divided by 12, we get 100. So 9 times 100 would be the sort of um, cost he's paid till that date. And then the rest would be balance brought down for the other year. So it says balance the account and bring down the balance in this. So that would be for the other year. So if I do 1,200 minus 900, I will get 300. And therefore, my balance here brought down would be 300. Uh, I'm really sorry for the terrible in writing, um, but I hope you get the idea. And the date would be um, simply 5th Jan. Okay, the next one, if we tackle it, let me just rub this to avoid confusion, okay? The next one is on the 1st of April, he paid 1440, okay, by the check, to, to 31st March. So what we have to calculate is from 1st April to December, okay? So first we need to calculate how much he's paying per month, and then we need to find out uh, the value, okay? So if we do 1440 divided by 12, we get 120. And if you can see from January to March is three months. So if we do 120 times three is 360. Okay, so that's going to be your balance carried down. So usually you just leave a space and write balance carried down 360. Then you know that we have made a 1440 payment for the one from 1st April. So you would simply write that bank or cash depending on what they have done because they're not specified okay, they have specified uh, by check so that will be bank um 1440 i'll bring down the balances okay so we'll just put two lines here i'll do 300 plus 1440 which will give me um 1740 and then 1740 here Again, I'm really sorry for the bad in writing, I'm using my mouse. And to calculate the income statement, the IS, we simply do 1740 minus 360, which gives me 1380. And then you simply add balance brought down. Um, I'm not writing the dates, but I, I think uh, you should know the dates, okay? So let's move on. That's it's all you need to know. Then here we have a scenario when... Um, Abdoulaye uh, withdrew 200 from the bank for a personal use. So when you're doing personal use, that's already drawings accounts, okay? And I know the account debited will be drawings and the account credited would be your, um, uh, wait, sorry, uh, wait, 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 one second, one second, sorry. Um, he has done it from the bank, 200 from the bank. So you would debit your drawings account and you would credit your bank okay so that would be the answer to that question okay number six we have some transactions here and it's saying that farhad and ali are traders on the first january 2015 farhad owned ali 300 dollars so that's already um i believe a balance bd somewhere and i know we're going to be doing a balance bd of that probably on the debit side because we are preparing farhad's account so the following transactions took place, Ali sold 250, Farhad returned half, and then so on and so forth. And it says, always re read the required, because that's really important in accounts. So prepare Farhad's account in the books of Ali, balance the account, and bring down the balance on 1st February 2015. Okay, so because we're doing it in Farhad's account, okay, it said Farhad and Ali are traders, and Farhad owed Ali $300. Okay, and Ali is here, we are preparing for Ali, and so Farhad owed Ali. So therefore, that means that we are receiving money. Ali is going to receive the money, right? So therefore, I would do a balance brought down. Terrible in writing. <laughs> 300. I think I'm just going to avoid writing this because it's really bad. Okay, then it says that on 5th January, Ali sold the goods. And therefore, it's going to be here. <laughs> I'm not going to write it, but it's going to be, oh no, 250. So that's going to be 250. And then it says on 8 January, he returned goods. Okay, when you return goods, you, uh, for a sales returns, you would debit it. But for this case, because it's uh, Ali, 
you would credit it and therefore it will be um, 250 minus or oh, 250 divided by 2 which is 125 so it's going to be sales returns 125 right here on the credit side 125 um, well that was good okay and then it says on 19 January Farhad paid the amount owed to 1st January by check so by 1st January on 1st January he had to owe $300 right so if you do 3% of $300 I believe that's um, 3% let's do that okay so I'll just take your calculator and do 3 divided by 100 times 300 which is $9 so that's going to be your discounts uh, allowed or cash discount so nine dollars so he paid uh 291 and you say a cash a, a cash discount or discount allowed of nine dollars and then i think bringing down the balance would be really easy you just do 300 plus 250 which is 550 and then 550 you do 550 minus these values get your balance carried down and then you get your balance brought that pretty simple and easy so it says complete the following table, name the account, uh, sorry, name the document sent by Ali to Farhad on 5th January. So on 5th January, what happens on 5th January? Ali sold goods. Whenever you sell goods, what does that mean? Whenever you sell goods, you in, you send an invoice, okay? And why would you want to send an invoice? This is basically to inform that Farhad that the quantity of goods bought um, and their price uh, and demand. So you're just informing them. That's why we send an invoice. Uh, and then on 8th January, um, Farhad returned half of the goods. When you return the goods, that's going to be credit note, okay? Uh, because it is uh, a purchase's returns, and therefore you send a credit note, and therefore you need to inform uh, Farhad that the allowance he was being given for the goods are returned. Okay, let's move on next. Um, complete the following table, name the book of prime entry in which Ali would record the transactions listed. When Ali sells 250 to, uh, to Farhad, the book of prime entry in this case would be the um, sales journal, okay? Because I am selling goods. When sales journal records all the transactions when you sell to the credit supply, sorry, credit customers, when you sell goods. When Farhad returned half of the goods bought on 5th January, that's a sales returns because credit supplier is returning and therefore you would record it in the sales returns journal. When Farhad paid the amount owed on 1st January, having deducted 3% cash discount, uh, because we are getting paid by cash, therefore that would be cash book. Or even if it's being paid by bank, it will still be a cash book. So there you go, guys. I did like about 10 questions. If you want to see more questions like this and I continue this workbook, then please hit the like button. You can comment below. And I will continue this workbook. You can do it at your own time. I'll be linking the PDF down below. In the next video, we are going to cover another topic regarding to accounting. So I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.